what's going on YouTube? Welcome to the JR Experience. Today is the day that we've all been waiting for. You mean Beyonce 4? Yeah, Beyonce 4. In stores everywhere. Go, go get it. Go your, especially Target. Go get that deluxe edition for yourself. You can't miss a big huge shelf of Beyonce's big face on there. You know, I'm not saying she has a big face, but it's just a big huge photo of her. Just waiting for you to just come and buy. Don't, don't pass it by. Just go pick it up. If it's not for you, pick it up for somebody else. They won't be disappointed. This album right here, this album right here is great. Great, great, great. And look at the back right here. Look at that right there. If that ain't a pretty sight, I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it at all. Let's get into this review of this album, shall we? The album is great. It's great. It really is. There's not a bad song on this whole album. Really not. And I am a Beyonce stand. And you know, people, we might say, oh, you're going to say that regardless. No, that's not true. There's several songs, many songs that I don't like from Beyonce. But this right here, the whole collection of great songs. I, I know some people, oh, well, it's not fast enough. Oh, it's too slow. Now, let you guys, are some of y'all are the same people that wanted this. This is what you asked for. This is, I know I asked for it, and I'm not disappointed at all. I'm not. But let's go back in time a little bit, because people who love Dancing and Love so much, I, who doesn't love Dancing and Love? Definitely, that's Beyonce's best album thus far. But this album right here, this album right here, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not that far off from it. If if Dancing in Love is one A, Beyonce four is one B. Okay, trust me, and I really believe that. I believe that wholeheartedly. But I want to talk about Dancing in Love real quick. Dancing in Love was slow, very slow. I'm gonna name you the slow songs on that. Dancing in Love, Me Myself and I, Closer I Get to You, Daddy, Virgo. I mean, gift from Virgo, signs, yes. Should I go on? The album was slow. It was really slow. But I'm going to tell you what the difference was. The first few songs were fast. So, and it was mixed up in there. Where this, she starts with all the ballads first, and then she picks it up. So it's like, boom, and it rises up. You know what I mean? Where the album, based on Dangerous in Love, started off with Crazy in Love. Naughty Girl, uh, 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 Baby Boy, and then a, a Hip Hop Star. And so you had the album was very heightened. You know, you, you were really pumped when you popped that album in. You know, when you put the album in, bum, 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 uh oh, you know. And so you were ready to go. Where this one, she comes into one plus one. Boom, 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 boom. So the tempo makes you feel like it's really, really slow. If she started the album off, at end of time, you guys have a, it'll be a totally different. People would not be saying the album was real slow. I bet you. If you start the album off with end of time, and then went from end of time into countdown, and then went into a uh, uh, party, and then went to run the world, you know, then you'd be like, whoa, okay. And then going to uh, best thing I never had, you'd be like, oh, all right. I think it'll be it'll be much different. Uh, uh, into people's ears and how they would feel about it. So I hope you understand where I'm coming from. But go back to Dancing in Love. Listen to Dancing in Love again. Go back to it. It's slow. Really slow. Okay, so let's not bullshit here. My favorite songs on the Beyonce 4 album, I must say, End of Time, probably everybody's favorite song. She was getting it. When she was Glastonbury and the BT Awards, she was getting it. Woo! How did Beyonce dancing got so much better? I remember Beyonce was not a great dancer when she first started. She has formed to an amazing dancer. You know, love it. Love it. Her dancing skills right now, you can't touch her now. She thinks she she thinks she Michael Jackson. Okay, she's going to try to moonwalk at the, the, the tour, the Run the World Tour. I bet she's going to be called the Run the World Tour or the Ford Tour. So, if she better not try no moonwalking. She really, because when you see her now, she's feeling herself on the dance floor. She's feeling it now. She thinks she can battle people now. Um, so, uh, end of time. Uh, countdown, uh, well, oh, countdown is really good. Uh, start over. Let's start over. That's my song right there. Um, I care. One plus one. Party. Hell, damn hell, the whole goddamn album. Okay, the whole album. It's not a bad song. I just love it. I can listen to it all the way through. I love it all the way. Love on top is a great song. You know what Love on Top reminds me of? One of them songs on a Sunday afternoon. You know, uh, it's, you know, Sunday afternoon in a black household, it's like cleanup day. You know, so you go in to clean up, you know, turn the, the love on top. Love on top, baby. 
Get out of love. You know, you can just clean up everything. You're like, hey, we're washing dishes. Ha <laughs> ha. You know what I mean? Feel good. Feel good song right there. She did everything. This album, this album gives you everything. This album gives you a little bit of the 90s. She took it back. This album gives you reggae, a little island rhythms. She gives you a little Afro beat. She's giving you R&B. She gives you a little bit of pop. She gives you just something for everybody. So this album is definitely a gem. Like I said, if Dancing in Love is 1A, 4 is not that far off. Really is not. It's a really good album. If you don't like Beyonce, you never will. You never will. And she can't please everybody. She's her own artist. And if, if she if, and if she was so bad, y'all think a lot of the haters, y'all think she sucked so bad. You think she sucked? Why was 175,000 people rocking to her the other day on that Sunday? Huh? Why was she the first person? Why did they choose her of all people to be the first black woman to perform at Glastonbury? Why? Why would they? Why would they do that? Uh, why would they let her headline? Why? Why? Uh, they were they weren't gonna put nobody out there. They were gonna bring no people. They brought the queen. They brought the queen out there to rock the stage, and she became legendary. If she hadn't been legendary already, that performance right there, and I was watching that on Ustream and all, and so was the rest of the world. Twitter was going crazy. She killed it, and she made herself. Those are what legendary performances. And so this girl right here is legendary. Stop hating on her. If you they don't hate, put on the tape. Album four. Beyonce, go get it. Stop. Don't like I said. Don't play with yourself. Don't don't do it. Go get it. You can't miss it at Target. On that note, rate this video, like this video, comment, do all that for me. Peace. I'm through.